Welcome to today's uh, debate here at Optics Rate YouTube channel. Uh, we'll debate today a common question, not a common question, a question which we got in, in question suggestions yeah. from our viewers. Uh, so this topic is which binoculars are made in Japan? Yeah. Uh, we would like to invite you, send us questions like this also in the future so that we get new ideas and to make videos about the topics which are in your interest. Um, so. Marsha, yes. let's start with common business models in, in this sport optics industry. Yeah, so we have four types of businesses. The, the first one is that it produces all uh, in-house, so mm -hmm. at their, um, how to say? Uh, premises. Yeah, premises. Yeah. Uh, then we have the second one, uh, which does some of their production uh, outsources to other countries. This is really common in uh, Europe. Mm -hmm. Uh, then we have the third one that um, does all of their production in other country. So no, no, everything is outsourced. Uh, and the last one is OEM producers, which is uh, popular in Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's start with some uh, brands from Japan. Okay, um, let's start with Nikon. Okay. So Nikon basically uses this partial business model. They produce more expensive premium models in their facilities, in yeah. their factories. So we could say in-house. And then they outsource the production of their more affordable series, mostly to China, Philippines, uh, and other countries around in Asia. So I would say they have this mixed model. If you're buying a really expensive uh, Nikon, like the uh, um, HG or uh, DHG, those and uh, marine tropical models and so on, uh, all of those which are, I would say, around 800 euros and more yeah. in their price, uh, those are made in Japan. While when you, when you look at their affordable models for 200, 300 euros, those are made mostly in China, Philippines and yeah. other, Prostav, other parts. Monarch. Yeah. All Monarch series, all Prostav series yeah. and many, many others because Nikon has really a lot of series. Okay, if we continue, let's say with Canon. Yeah, so Canon does the same with mm -hmm. their binoculars. More affordable models are made in China and more um, expensive ones are made in Japan. They mostly have more expensive models of binoculars yeah. with image stabilization. And um, those are made in Japan. Those yeah. are made in Japan, mostly, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. so that's it for Canon. Let's move on to um, Kova. Okay, Kova, they produce their Genesis model which is here in, yeah. in Japan, and the quality is really outstanding. While more affordable SV uh, series and similar are produced in Philippines and China. So mm -hmm. again, the same. this uh, partial model, you have more expensive products produced uh, in your own facilities in Japan, while more affordable models are produced elsewhere. They're outsourced because of a lower labor force, yeah. uh, labor cost. Um, what about Citron? Yeah, so Citron, it's uh, the same. Uh, they uh, more expensive models are made in Japan, mm -hmm. and then we have more affordable ones made in China and Philippines. Yeah. And the Philippines, yeah. Um, it is, however, true that with Citron you are able to get uh, 300, 350 euros binoculars, which are still made, made in, in Japan, Japan. Yeah, which is really. I'd say outstanding because majority of producers, everything that is below 600, 700 euros, everything is outsourced. Yeah. Cytron is the only one who is able to keep the cost down even for the Japanese products. Yeah. Um, okay, Fujinon, it's yeah. again, the same the story. Same. 500 euros and up is made in Japan. Those may, uh, which are priced lower are, are outsourced. Yeah. And Pentax. I think it's the same. Yeah. I, I think that majority of Japanese producers uh, went with this uh, model, model business model yeah. that you outsource more affordable products yeah. and you do more expensive products in house. I think no companies are fully based in. I mean, are fully have production in house in Japan. Mm, I also don't know of any. Almost all yeah. Japanese companies have some affordable series which are outsourced for some. Yeah. What is also very common in Japan is that there are factories that don't have their own brand and yeah. which produce products only for other brands. Yeah. Uh, we have Vortex, Vortex Razor here. Yeah. yeah, it's a Vortex is a US company which mm -hmm. uh, outsources their production of um, 
I wouldn't say some mid range uh, or high end, mid high, high, end, yeah. high end to Japan, and there are more affordable models to China. Uh, so we actually don't know where where these binoculars are made. Or well, we know that they are made in Japan, but yeah, who but is producing them? Is, yeah. It's not disclosed. Yeah. yeah. There are some other brands also. Mostly that, American brands yeah. uh, and European brands, which have their, uh, I would say, 1,000 euros plus models, because all Vortex Razor binoculars are above 1,000 euros, yeah. uh, which are produced in Japan. And in Europe, the most, I would say, famous brand that uh, does this is Kales. Yeah. So Kales binoculars are made in Japan um, and also priced around 1,000 euros, something like that. Yeah. And that, that's really interesting because also, also with rifloscopes, there is there are many factories in Japan that do OEM production for American and European brands. Yeah. I think if we left anything out, please use the comments below uh, to yeah. point it out and we will be really happy to answer. Yeah. And I think this was it for yeah. today's video. If we have any suggestions for our future videos, drop them down in the comment section and see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.